ఓకే వెరీ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ మై డియర్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ సో నేను సైతం అంటూ ఒక యజ్ఞంలో పాల్గొనడానికి మన కోసం వారి యొక్క ప్రత్యేకమైనటువంటి విలువైనటువంటి సమయాన్ని కేటాయిస్తూ వాలంటీర్లీ అంటే స్వేచ్ఛగా సర్వీస్ చేయడానికి ముందుకు వచ్చినటువంటి గౌరవనీయులు టుడేస్ అవర్ ఎమినెంట్ బాటనిస్ట్ రిసోర్స్ పర్సన్ డాక్టర్ వరప్రసాదరావు గారు అసిస్టెంట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ బాటనీ అండ్ సార్ హాజ్ వర్కింగ్ యాజ్ ఎ ప్రిన్సిపల్ బేలా సార్ ఇస్ బిలాంగ్స్ టు బేలా అదిలాబాద్ డిస్టిక్ సార్ హాజ్ హ్యూజ్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ రిగార్డింగ్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ప్లాంట్ సైన్సెస్ ఎస్పెషల్లీ ప్లాంట్ సిస్టమెటిక్స్ ప్లాంట్ టాక్సానమీ సో సార్ ఈజ్ రెడీ టు సర్వ్ యాజ్ ఎ ప్లాంట్ టాక్సానమిస్ట్ యాజ్ ఎ రిసోర్స్ పర్సన్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ సిపి గెట్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ త్రీ పీజీ ఎంట్రెన్స్ ఆన్లైన్ కోచింగ్ ఎలాంగ్ విత్ దిస్ జేఎల్ డిఎల్ గురుకుల జేఎల్ డిఎల్ అండ్ పీజీటి అండ్ ఆర్ కాంపిటేటివ్ ఎగ్జామ్స్ సో సార్ ఈజ్ గోయింగ్ టు ప్రజెంట్ ఇస్ వ్యాస్ట్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ హ్యూజ్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ అండ్ ఈ సర్వీసెస్ ఈజ్ రియల్లీ అప్రిసియేబుల్ సార్ ప్లీజ్ వెల్కమ్ డాక్టర్ వరప్రసాదరావు గారు టుడేస్ అవర్ ఎమినెంట్ రిసోర్స్ పర్సన్ ప్లీజ్ స్టార్ట్ యువర్ సెషన్ అండ్ స్టార్ట్ ద ప్రోగ్రామ్ సార్ సార్ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ ఓకే ఓకే సార్ right uh, your ppt is not uh, visible sir please share your screen first one host disabled participant screen sharing sir meer ivale one second sir one second nana daddy ichina okay right sir please uh, share your screen sir okay sir right it's visible sir okay uh, sir if possible please you enlarge uh, the screen okay sir right A little bit more little bit inka koncham ah sari potu sir గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ సార్ ఫస్ట్ ఐ థ్యాంక్ ఫుల్ టు డాక్టర్ పడాల తిరుప సార్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ గివింగ్ వండర్ఫుల్ అపర్చునిటీ బికాస్ దిస్ ఇస్ ఎ వండర్ఫుల్ ప్లాట్ఫామ్ టు గెట్ టుగెదర్ టు గ్రేట్ ఎమినెస్ట్ బాటనిస్ట్ అండ్ స్టూడెంట్స్ అండ్ మై కొలీగ్స్ అండ్ సీనియర్స్ ఆల్సో ఐ యామ్ వెరీ గ్రేట్ఫుల్ అండ్ సిన్సియర్ థ్యాంక్స్ టు వన్స్ అగైన్ డాక్టర్ పడాల తిరుప సార్ because uh, sir is very grateful service to his students for, since uh, i think uh, last 7 8 years but uh, unfortunately i am uh, not uh, uh, participate in last since 5 uh, 6 years today i have uh, very happy to share my little bit experience about the plant taxonomy so thank you sir thank you once again uh, good morning good all morning. my students and seniors and juniors uh, sir so in uh, cpget uh, and uh, syllabus is taxonomy of angiosperms principles of plant systematics types of classification is there so important uh, accept is in taxonomy is uh, artificial classification and natural classification and uh, phylogenetic systems of classification is there so first we have to discuss about the what is the taxonomy what is the classification so placing of plants placing of plants means uh, uh, ranks categories such as series species genera family is known as classification taxonomy systematic arrangement of plants called as plant taxonomy simply simple words systematic arrangements uh, that means order suborder uh, up to genus species these uh, term called as uh, classification and taxonomy so therefore basically three kinds of classifications is there uh, 
uh, one is the artificial, artificial classification and the natural classification and the third is the phylogenetic classification. In uh, our syllabus also, three types of classification is there. First is uh, artificial Excuse classification. Excuse me, sir. Madam. Not madam, sir. Student, uh, me. Ah, uh, student. Please sir, ask. Good morning. Uh, uh, voice somewhat it is low. Raise voice, na. No, no, okay. Prakash. No, no, Prakash. Don't, yeah, yeah. don't disturb during the class hours because of voice is very clear and very clarity. Prakash, are you audible? Don't disturb. Okay. Please, you proceed. Please, you sir, proceed. Okay, sir. Sir, you are audible. Very for uh, basically three kinds of classification is there artificial classification and natural classification and uh, phylogenetic classification. This is the basic uh, three types of classification is uh, uh, in the syllabus of our CPK to 2023. So first uh, we have to discuss about the artificial classification. So this uh, this system of classification based upon one or uh, few comparable morphological characters. That means. Uh, uh, Morphological characters means, uh, example, uh, in, uh, trees and shrubs and herbs and climbers. And um, morph this type of classification completely depend on only morphological character. This is the anescient classification uh, proposed by Linnaeus. It's based on the stamens and corpels and is uh, artificial one. This is the first classification in taxonomy. This is the old and anescient one. Uh, after this artificial classification, second is very, very important and uh, all accepts natural classification is there. The, the natural classification based on overall characters, uh, most in uh, grass morphology, uh, example, Bentham and Hooker classification, very, very important one is Bentham and Hooker classification is called as a natural classification also. So once again saying you, Class, basically classifications are three types. So first is artificial classification. Uh, this based on only morphological characters. And second is natural classification. This classification only based on uh, mor uh, morphological, including overall characters. Example, Bentham and Hooker classification. This is the most important one uh, for all accepts, Bentham and Hooker classification. And another is phylogenetic classification. Uh, sixth sem students compulsory uh, in uh, degree semester exams also you have to question uh, from uh, Bentham and Duper classification or Engler and Prandtl classification. This is useful to your uh, semester exams also upcoming sixth semester exam. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, this uh, taxonomy I think uh, exams is over. And phylogenetic classification. Third is hence they are called uh, post Darwinian classification. After Darwin. Uh, this type of classification is a uh, uh, upcoming phylogenetic classification. This is based on uh, phylogeny attacks and expressed in the form of phylogenetic tree. Uh, this, uh, in the case of farm geosomes, the phylogeny always inferred that due to lack of casual history. Uh, in this uh, post of phylogenetic classification in our syllabus, important uh, classification is Angler, uh, Angler and Frontal classification. So where in the second one is Bentham and Docker classification and third one is Engler and Prandtl classification. So what after this uh, two types of classification, we have to study about the differences between Bentham and Docker classification and uh, Engler and Prandtl classification. This is the primary information about the three types of classifications. Once again, one, two sentences explaining you. First uh, classification is the three types. First is which type Prakash artificial classification and another is natural classification and uh, another is phylogenetic classification. First is uh, based on morphological characters only. Second one is based on overall characters. Example, Bentham and Docker classification and uh, another is phylogenetic classification. Example, we have to study Engler and Prandtl classification. Any doubt, Prakash? No doubt, sir. Is it clear? Okay, okay. Ah, ready. Thank you. Thank you. Classifications are three types. Okay. So first we have to start about the which type of classification? Artificial classification. Magar, uh, but only important except we have to study about the natural classification. That means which Bentham and Docker classification. 
before bentham and docker classification uh, some words uh, explaining about the binomial nomenclature what is the binomial nomenclature this is also important to accept uh, before studying uh, bentham and docker classification uh, binomial nomenclature means one two words for the first introduced uh, binomial system gaspard bind this uh, question so many times in competitive exams is uh, uh, are uh, asking about the binomial nomenclature in 1623 actually 1623 gaspard bahin used two words for the first time and introduced the binomial system binomial system means plant name consists of two words in latin language not english not telugu plant name consists on two words in latin language followed by the uh, author's name so this called as a binomial nomenclature first time proposed by gaspard bahin but the credit using binomial system species in the book uh, well known uh, book species plant theorem goes to linnaeus carol van linnaeus so once again saying you proposed by gaspard bahin word but this uh, credit goes to carol van linnaeus because of he is uh, wrote a book uh, species plant theorem very important in the plant kingdom species plant theorem so very very important uh, book about the taxonomy so according to binomial system plant name consist uh, two words in the latin already i explain you example uh, azad recta indica vepa so common name is vepa azad recta is the genus and uh, indica species lin is linnaeus proposed by linnaeus so last word belongs to author's name so this is the important uh, uh, accepts about the binomial nomenclature so some words should the generic name should begin with capital letter and species name with small letter this is the primary basic information about the binomial nomenclature the person who first publish the name while they said the author this is a common thing so this is a not important one important one uh, you should must remember that in uh, topic so important uh, topic is first is binomial nomenclature um, one second say you proposed by gaspard bain and uh, um, developed by carl van linnaeus in the book of species plant are okay so this is the binomial nomenclature so next species names uh, you uh, this are the common so first uh, next we have to discuss about the important one bentham and hooker classification so it's important one in plant kingdom is a natural system of classification so it is uh, it was proposed by two english botanist george bentham and sir joseph dalton hooker generally we are saying about the bentham and hooker bentham and hooker bentham and hooker george bentham and sir joseph dalton hooker these are two eminent taxonomists and botanists english belongs to different uh, various the system of classification published in first time genera plantarum in three volumes and they had described 97205 species of speeded plants two not two orders now referred as a family so first time this type of natural classification described by two english botanists george bentham and hooker george bentham and uh, sir joseph dalton hooker the system of classification was published in genera plantarum not con uh, don't confuse species plantarum proposed by carl van linnaeus that is a uh, uh, different and genera plantarum uh, written by and uh, sorry wrote by three volumes uh, by bentham and hooker in this uh, three volumes they had described 97205 species of speeded plants 97205 according to bentham and hooker classification the seeded plants are divided into three classes clearly saying according to bentham and hooker first basically they divided into three types of classes first dicots and gymnosperms and monocots so plant kingdom divided into three parts dicots and gymnosperms and monocots proposed by 
Bentham and Luker classification. First, digots. What is digots? Leaves show reticulate venation. You know about the venation. Two types of venations are there: reticulate venation and uh, parallel venation. So digots show leaves show reticulate venation, and plant can contain two cotyledons. Flowers are tetramerous or uh, pentamerous. So this is our uh, basically uh, complete shows a morphological characters only. The tap root system is there. So one big tree, big tree is there. We cannot uh, describe about the uh, root system. Then we have to uh, describe it. Then we have to observe venation, leaves venation that have reticulate venation and two cartilages and flowers are tetramerous. In the, sometimes uh, we did not have flowers some seasons. So we have to leaves are there. So the, when show reticulate variation that are dicotyl and plants, this is the primary information you know about the identification of dicots. So this is the first class described by uh, Bentham and Duker dicots. Once again saying you dicots and gymnosperms and cards. Any problem? Any problem, sir? Hello? So, dicots, seeds of dicots, plants have two cartilages. So, and Vaga, it is divided into three subclasses based on variant, namely polypetale, gamopetale, and monoclamide. So, dicots divided by three subclasses based on variant. Parianth means sepals and petals. The group of calyx, the group of corolla, sepals and petals. So it is divided into three subclasses based on perianth, namely polypetale and gamopetale and monoclamide. So first we are discussing about the subclass one polypetale. Petale, plants having flowers with Three petals come under polypetale. Plants having flowers with three petals. Three petals polypetale. Three petals polypetale. This is the important one. Mm. It is further divided into three series based on nature of the ovary. They are thalamiflore and discipore and calcifore. Are you following any problem? Yes. Hello? Okay, sir. Yes. Hello? Okay, sir. Proceed, sir. Proceed. Okay, Fine, sir. Proceed. Okay, okay, sir. Subclass polypetale plants having flowers with three petals come under polypetale. It is further divided into three series based on nature of ovary. They are thalamiflore, discipore, calciflore. Once you remember, first Bentham and Docker divided into monocards, gymnosperms, and dicards. First, we are discussing about the dicards. Dicards, you know, polypetale, monoclamide. The plants have flowers with three petals. So, first series thalamiflorae. Thalamiflora, it includes plants having flowers with a dome or conical thalamus. Ovary is superior. In thalamiflora plants, you observe the characters of uh, that plants is uh, having flowers with a dome or conical thalamus. Ovary is superior. Thalamiflora includes six orders and 34 families. Okay. Thalamiflora includes six orders and 34 families. After my class, I will share your PDF notes also. You will observe once again. If any doubt, uh, you ask in uh, next class also. No problem. So, discipulate. Discipulate includes flowers having shaped thalamus below the ovary. Ovary is superior. Same in uh, thalamiflora also superior. In discipulate also superior. But disc shaped thalamus below the ovary. In this is dome or conical thalamus. In this series, disc shaped thalamus is there. Ovary is superior in both of thalamiflora and discipulate. Discipulate divided into four orders 
and 23 families. Four orders, 23 families. Thalem floor includes six orders and 34 families. Both are over is superior, but only shaped different between the thalem floor and disc floor. In the thalem floor, disc is dome or conical shape. In disc floor, uh, disc shaped thalamus is there. And another is calci floor. It includes, this is the third type uh, series from calci floor. It includes plants having flowers with cup shaped thalamus. Ovary are superior or inferior, sometimes half inferior are also there. So you remember about the three types. Once again, saying you in thalamic floor, ovary is superior, but thalamus is dome or conical shape. In and it uh, disc floor, same ovary is superior, disc shaped or thalamus is there. And another is calciflore, same superior or inferior, sometimes of it uh, half inferior also there, but uh, shape of thalamus is cup shaped. This is the main important differences between three types of series that is the uh, which thalamiflore and disciflore and calciflore. Okay, so this is the three types. Next subclass two is gamopetale. First is polypetale, and second is subclass gamopetale. Plants having flowers with fused petals come under gamopetale. Okay. Polypetals, in polypetale, three petals are there. In gamopetale, flowers with fused petals are there. This is the important difference between polypetale and gamopetale. Polypetale, three petals. Gamopetale, fused petals. Okay. Polypetale, three petals. Gamopetale is fused petals. Gamopetale is further divided into three series based on position of the theory. Sorry, ovary. That is the shape of ovary. This is the position of ovary. You remember a difference between two types. That basic series based on the only shaped, shaped base. And there is the position of the area in pere, heteromere, and bicarpal ete. Okay. So subclass two is gamma petale. So gamma petale divided into three series based on position of the ovary in pere and heteromere and bicarpalate. So first is inferi. The flowers are epigynous sir, and ovary is, is inferior. Okay, sir. Okay, sir, I'll join. Audible? Sir. Sir. Am I audible, sir? Okay, sir. Okay, sir, audible, sir. Okay, sir. Sir, hello. You're not done. Find the voice. Voice, Pendaju. Voice, Ustun, sir. Sir, okay. Okay, ma'am. So the flowers are epigynous and ovary is inferior. Inferior. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. So gamma petal is further divided into three series based on the position of the ovary, inferior and heteromere and bicarpalate. The flowers are epigynous and ovary is inferior. So heteromere, the flowers are epigynous, so ovary is superior with more than two carpels. So very, very interesting uh, between what is the characters are based for that exam is just small differences between they are. Their flowers are epigynous and ovary superior with more than two carpels. Heteromere includes three orders and uh, 12 families. And series three is bicarpalate. The flowers are hypogynous and ovary superior with two carpels only. Two carpels only. Bicarpalate includes four orders and 24 families. Okay, so once again, we have to back about the first basic is dicards. 
dicards, reticulate venation, flowers are tetramers and pentamers, subclass is based on perian, polypetale, gamma petal, and monoclamidae. So, polypetal includes flowers with three petals, come under polypetale. Polypetale divides the nature of the ovary, thalamiflore, disciflore, and calciflore. Thalamiflore, so doma, conical thalamus. Over is superior. Includes six orders and 34 families. Just once again, uh, repeating you. So, calciflore, cup shaped thalamus, over is superior and inferior, sometimes half inferior is also there. Gamma petale, flowers with fused petals come under gamma petale. Position of the ovary, it includes three types inferi, eternomira, and bicarpalate. Okay. So, next. Subclass 3 is monoclamidae. Plants having flowers with single whole variant are placed under monoclamidae. Flowers are incomplete. Plants having flowers with single whole variant are placed under monoclamidae. Flowers are incomplete. Monoclamidae includes 8 series and 36 families. So, another class 2 is gymnosperms. In between dicards and monocards, Bentham and Ocker placed the between dicards and monocards, the class 2 is the gymnosperms. This is also one demerit of Bentham and Ocker. Between dicards and monocards, in between gymnosperms placing there, the members of this class have naked flowers or seeds called as gymnosperms. The members of the class have naked ovals or seeds called gymnosperms. Gymnosperms placed by Bentham and Duker in between dicards and monocards. Ovary is absent and gymnosperm includes three families, Neatacy, Coniferae and Psychodacy. Okay, this is the uh, basic demerit of Bentham and Duker. Mm, Bentham and Duker, first demerit is this Bentham and Duker classification for only Flowering plants, not flowering plants, algae, fungi, different types of uh, non flowering plants not included in the Bentham and Duker classification. Next, we have to talk about the merits and demerits. Next, class three is monocards. Monocards, seeds of monocards plants contain one cartridge. You don't know about the this type. Uh, leaves show parallel venation. This is the basic important uh, uh, identification between uh, monocards and dicards. That is the reticulate venation. This is the parallel venation. Flowers are trimerous. Penta, not uh, pentamerous and tetramerous. It is the trimerous uh, flowers are there and parallel venation is there. The plants have fibrous root system. That is the tap root system. This is the fibrous root system. This is the basic uh, differences between monocards and dicards. How to identify the monocards and dicards? The very, very basic and primary information reticulate in for uh, venation and parallel venation. Tetramerous or uh, pentamerous, this is the trimerous uh, and uh, fibrous root system and dicards contains a uh, tap root system. This is a very, very basic important one. And the monocotyledons, uh, seven series and 34 families. So this is the very primary information about the Bentham and Ocker uh, classification. After this very, very complete uh, merits of Bentham and Ocker classification. So Bentham, first merits. Bentham and Duker classification is the most natural system based on the actual examination of specimens. This is a common, accurate, and reliable as zero. Reliable classification. At least easy to follow. It is used by key for the identification of plants in key herbarium and several other herbaria of the world. So most uh, of the Commonwealth uh, Commonwealth countries, uh, Bentham and Duker classification is following. The placement of monocultured, sir. Sir, in from. Hello. Demerits are there. The placement of gymnosomes in between. Also, already uh, I say about it. Uh, this uh, point. Uh, demerits. The placements of gymnosomes in between dicarded and monocultured is an error. Several important. Floral characters have been neglected in the system. This is also very important demerit in Bentham and Ocker classification. 
the placement of gymnosperms in between dicardidon and monocotyledon is an error and another is several important floral characters have been neglected in uh, the system advanced family archidacea has been considered as primitive among monocotyledons and it is placed on the beginning of the system because archidacea is a well developed uh, family but in placed in the uh, beginning of the system this is also a uh, demerit of the bentham and ducker classification and in this system closely related families have been separated and placed under different groups for example all the families of series carvembre and monoclamde related caryophyllae sub series the thalamiflorea palipetale but they are separate so this is the primary information about uh, uh, bentham and ducker classification sir okay hello next uh, classification is angler and pandel classification so first classification is bentham and ducker classification and uh, this is the bentham and ducker classification after bentham and ducker classification we are talking about uh, another important classification angler and pandel classification this is the third type of classification phylogenetic classification after darwin and peris this type of classification proposed by adolf engler and Carl and Prantil were the two German taxonomists. Adolf Engel and Carl and Prantil were the two German taxonomists proposed by this type of classification, Engler and Prantil classification. They proposed the phylogenetic system of classification. Sir, any disturb? Disturb on that Yes, sir. The classification based on the the classification based on that airlet, they have classified all plant, plants from algae to angiosperms in their system of classification. This is the very, very important uh, uh, merit of the angler and Prandtl because of they have classified all plants from algae to angiosperms. In Bentham and Docker classification, only the flowering plants. That uh, Bentham and Docker classification not describing about the algae, fungi, etc., etc., non-flowering plants. But Engler and Plantel uh, classification describing the whole algae to angiosperms, the system of classification. The, this was uh, published in Dinastial Plankton Family in 23 volumes. Three volumes, Bentham and Ducker classification and 23 volumes of Engler and Plantel classification. This Engler and Plantel arranged the families of higher vascular plants according to the increasing complexity of the flower. So, angular and practical classification based on uh, uh, increasing complexity of the flower, flowers without perianth, acclaimed that those with one old perianth and considered the most primitive and uh, two old perianth advanced. So, outline of this classification, plant kingdom has been divided into 13 divisions. Very important accepts of the angular and plantal classification outline. Plant kingdom has been divided into 13 divisions. Divisions 1 to 2, embryophyta to siphonogamia, dealing the, with bacteria, different types of algae, fungi, bryophytes, and pteridophytes. So, once again, uh, explaining you, according to Engler and Plantel classification, plant kingdom has been divided into 13 divisions. Divisions 1 to 2 dealing with non-flowering plants, example, bacteria, different types of algae, fungi, and bryophytes, and uh, tetraphytes. The 13th division is named as Embryophyta siphonogamma, which includes seed-producing plants. Okay, this is the important accept about the angular and plantal classification. Divisions 1 to 12, explaining about the bacteria, algae, fungi, bryophyte, tetraphytes, and 13 division named as Pembryophyta siphonogamma, which includes all cedar producing plants. It is divided into two subdivisions. But first is gymnosperm, uh, naked and oval seeds, and second is angiosperms. First is gym gymnosperms. Gymnosperms has been divided into seven orders from 
thyroidophilicals to knee tails. Gymnast from size being divided into seven orders from cycadophilicals to knee tails. And angiosperm may enclosed ovules and seeds. This subdivision angiosperm is divided into two classes, monocartilidine and uh, monocartlets and dicards. First is monocards. Monocards divided into 11 orders, 45 families. Monocards divided into 11 orders and 45 families. First order, pandanales, which propose, uh, possess naked and asexual flowers with type AC as starting family. And the last oh, order, microsperm with archidase is the last. Archidaceae, very, very developing plant. The, that uh, demerit is covered in angular and plantal classification. Because of Bentham and Ducker classification, Archidaceae uh, placed in starting one. That is the demerit of Bentham and Ducker classification. That demerit uh, replaced uh, uh, Archidaceae family in the first uh, by the angular and plantal. You observe it. Very, very differences between Bentham and Ducker. And dicards. Dicards are divided into two subclasses. Our, uh, first is the uh, Archiclamidae and Sympatale and Metaclamidae. First is the Archiclamidae. It is the uh, Archiclamidae. The flowers are Acclamides, Monoclamides, are, but petals are mostly free in polypetalous condition. Polypetalous condition is there. In Archiclamidae, 33 orders and uh, 206 families is there. The first order being uh, Veticillate and uh, Cazirinaceae is the starting family, Cazirinaceae. And last order, umbelliferae with the uh, coronis, the last uh, family. And uh, second is sympetale or metaclamide. In sympetale, the petals are fused. Gamma petalous condition is there. Uh, and uh, sympetale has 11 orders and 52 families. The first order being Ericalis, which is the Clathraceae as the starting family. And the last order, last order, uh, Campanelis, Aster is the last. Uh, the merits is the, the system gives a broad description of the whole plant kingdom. Okay. So, basic difference between Bentham and Docker and uh, Angular and Planter classification is there. Bentham and Docker classification only for the flowering plants, and Angular and Planter classification covers the whole kingdom, whole plant kingdom. It is a true phylogenetic system of classification. So, this is the important uh, merit is there. And gymnosperms have been treated separately and placed the before angiosperms are climbed. This is also important one. Gymnosperms are treated separately. In Bentham and Docker, we have seen, already we see about the between monocards and dicards, they are spaced in the gymnosperms. And uh, England and is spaced uh, gymnosperms separately. This is also merit uh, you observe that. The merging of polypetal and monoclamide of Bentham and Docker system into a single subclass. Archiclamida is the chief, the chief merit of the system. Polypetal, okay. This is the important merit. Epigenous flowers are considered that to be advanced than hypogenous flowers. In Archiclamida, Sympetale families, Epigenous are placed towards uh, towards the end. Composite among the dicots and archidis among the monocots. But it is the most highly evolved plants. So, important one is I, as per competitive exams. How many classifications are there? How many families are there? Which is the, uh, how, how to describe over the classifications? It is very convenient and well known and has been accepted in every part of the world. Generally, Bentham and Docker uh, classification follow the Commonwealth countries only. But Angular and Planter classification, the oh, every part of the world, we have to follow this uh, classification. But uh, some demerits are there. Merits, if merits are there, same way as well as demerits are the, uh, compulsory in any type of classification. What is the demerit we have discussed? Placing of monocards before dicards. Monocards before dicards is the uh, important demerit. And uh, amine, aminidiferae are regarded as the most primitive group among dicards. Therefore, they are placed at the beginning of the uh, system. So, placing of the RKC family before Lily is the unsatisfactory. RKC, because RKC is the very, very uh, important and developed family, but they are placed with the Lily AC before Lily AC. It is unsat unsatisfactory to all partitions. The system occurs uh, in from is occurred in Angular and Prantel and outline Angular and Prantel system of classification. These are the most important two types of classification. Uh, we have discussed about the Bentham and Ducker classification and, and Angler and Prandtl classification. 
so first bentham and Duka, this is the deep description about the if you want deep description about the bentham and Duka classification so complete families name was there dicardilla subclass polypetale order one rhinalis families eight order two parietalis families nine this is the not uh, important for the competitive exams just for descriptive way just you observe the outlines uh, how many families are there how many orders are there once again order one rhinalis families eight in competitive exams and other exams is uh, already same points is the enough to study but deep descriptions order one rhinalis families eight parietalis families nine polygony families four uh, this is are the not important one but i am just uh, uh, sharing my screen you observe it cardiophile families four get families family six after uh, ending of my class i will share pdf notes to tirupati sir so you know once again you read and uh, neatly underline the important characters if any doubt you ask that uh, online classes next my class and uh, you see the subclass gamma petale order one rubialis australis and campanelis heteromere how many orders is there how many families is there this is the deep description not for uh, entrance point of view just uh, you observe it for uh, for class uh, observation only monocamlade series one family seven is there multi camlade operative families is there just uh, you observe it okay cycadesi coniferesi neatesi okay Wengler and classification is the deep description. Uh, in PC level, you study about the deep description of uh, this type of classification, but not uh, important in uh, competitive aspect. Too. Just you observe it. Okay. Okay. Next, uh, this is the description. So comparison. Comparison of the classification and Bentham and Docker and Engler and uh, uh, Prantel. So, Bentham and Docker, this system is based on the GCU and the D-Candle system. This system is based on the Eichler system. It is a natural system. It is a phylogenetic system. Plants are divided into large number of groups based mainly on the single and mostly artificial characters. So, closely related families are widely separated. But in uh, Engler and Prandtl classification, it is phylogenetic system based on the assumption the flowering plants where parent absent or phylogenetic permit evaluation of angiosomes, phylopetic lines is there. The system is based on the, the flexed of species, origin of species is important. It was published in genera plant time. This is the important one. Bentham and Docker classification published in genera plantarum. It includes two not families. This is important in competitive exams. Bentham and Duker published in Genera Plantarum 1862 to 1883. It includes two nut families. Uh, but Engler and Prantel classification published in Denatural Plantagen Family in 1887-1899 are 280 families in the system. Among these uh, four points, this is the important one for the competitive exams. Uh, first time Bentham and Duker published in Genera Plantarum, it includes two nut families. And Engler and Prantel published in Denatural Plants and Family. And this is the book name and uh, includes 280 families in this system. And another uh, important uh, difference uh, only para panerogamies are classified, the entire plant can classified. So many times I uh, repeating you Bentham and Ducker classification flower the only flowering plants. And Engler and Prandtl classification in the whole plant world. This is the one second, one second important one. Uh, so these are the common. Okay. And another, another is, uh, is this is the important one is Cucurbitaceae placed in polypetale. This is the not important one. Okay. This is the classification of Bentham and Ducker classification and Engler and Prandtl classification. Okay. What is the difference between Bentham and Docker classification and Engler and Prandtl classification? What is the binomial classification? I explaining the, the in, in this section. Uh, next section we will discuss about the current trends in taxonomy. What is chemo taxonomy? What is uh, uh, numerical taxonomy? That is the we discussing. Uh, we will discuss in the next class. First, uh, once again, some important today class explaining and remembering you today important. Uh, points in, in this session.
first classification what is classification first is artificial what is the first classification three types of classification is there artificial classification natural classification and phylogenetic classification so natural classification means only for the basic morphological character it includes only bentham and duker classification and another is phylogenetic classification that is the uh, explained by different scientists but the most important one is the engler and prandtl okay so first bentham and duker classification how many divisions or classes are there only monocots dicots and gymnosperms okay so this is the basic information about the two types of classification and uh, in today class this is after my, complete uh, my class i will share this uh, class pdf notes also there once you observe and any corrections and any doubts we will discuss about the next class uh, okay tirupa sir yes sir yes okay sir thank you uh, thank you sir very, uh, uh, it is very clear cut information and sir, wonderful sir. presentation Regarding of this class, any doubts, my dear friends, please you ask our respected uh, uh, Saris here, Dr. Varupasad Raugaru. Are there doubts or not? Uh, Saris is ready to clarify your doubts. Chepunana Prakash, Chapudu, problem undai pudu, clear right. na. Chepu. Prakash, Prakash. Prakash, sir, Chepunana. Thank, sir, thank you for your brief, uh, clear explanation. Uh, there is no doubt and uh, very clear explanation point to point and thank you from my side. For okay. this uh, explanation taxonomy. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Prakash. Anyone about uh, students? Uh, you are a student. Sir, Bhavani Garu, Gajanan. Manoj Garu, Navya Ji, Priya, Subhiya. Any that manam only explanation uh, manam better mind you can England point to choose now. Any man doubts? Sir, Chappan, you PDF put a share just now. Now after the class, sir, what? Sir, can you PDF put that now? PDF put a share just now. So this is the most important area of the all competitive exams, my dear friends, because of the Commonwealth countries, they are followed the uh, Bentham and Dukar Bentham and classification. So that's why uh, Bentham and Dukar classification is the most important. And also it is a, a valid classification of the natural system of classification. So each and every point of this classification is most important. How many okay. series are there? How many sequences uh -huh. are there? How many orders are there? In, oh, earlier, in, in earlier natural orders, now we can call it as families. So yeah. how many, uh, even the divisions are there? Based yes. on the which character features, uh, Bentham and Dukar class, uh -huh. different yes. orders. So this yes. is the most important uh, class regarding of the today's class. Uh, sir has clearly explained the entire... So after, sir, thank you, sir. After I will share PDF notes also there, sir. Sure, sure. sure. Thank you, sir. Uh, and PDF also sir. clearly explained about the uh, Engler and Prandtl classification. So, okay, okay. phylogenetic system of classification. Uh, sir has clearly explained about the Engler and Prandtl classification. Okay. So, this is also one of the important area in the phylogenetic system of classification. Who uh, coined or who started the uh, mm. phylogenetic system of classification after Charles Darwin yes. uh, evolution theory of evolution? Eichlers, based on the Eichler classification, sir has clearly explained about the Bentham and uh, Engler and Prandtl classification, my dear friends. Okay. Oh. So thank you, sir. So thank tomorrow, you, sir. tomorrow also uh, we will uh, go into start. Time, sir. Okay, sir. Same. Okay. Time. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Right, sir. Thank you. Thank Any doubts? Right, sir. Right. Thank you.